Hey, Pythonic Accountant here. Today I've got a really special video for you. I've been playing around with ChatGPT's custom GPTs for quite a while now, and uh, I haven't done a video in a while, but I'm gonna do a video on the custom GPTs today. Um, one of the things I've always done with a combination of Python with generative AI is creating a template format in a Word doc and then filling in the data in that Word doc using generative AI to create the content. Why that's helpful is you don't rely on generative AI to create the format of the file, which is unpredictable and not always consistent. You control the format by creating it in a template and then having generative AI just fill in the content. The challenge has been that's usually only able to be done using Python and a number of libraries, but there's a way that the custom GPTs can work here. So let's take a look at what we're working with here. I started with a standard um, like team meeting, meeting minutes um, document format that from Google Docs, you can use whatever format you want, um, but this is just showing how it will keep that format. And I turned this into a template. So what I did was I replaced the different uh, areas with variable names. Um, I don't know yet if these will work, so we'll find out if it works or not. Um, but I, I have um, variable names for like date, time, and location, attendees. And then I tried to do like an iterative format here where in some cases this will work, um, at least using the Python docx template library, but ChatGPT doesn't have that one. It's got a different library, so we'll see if this works or not. So anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at my custom GPT, I'm calling it my meeting minutes assistant. And if we look underneath the hood, I uh, created this GPT by asking it to create a meeting minutes, you know, helper and um, basically give it these instructions to say the GPT will assist users generating meeting minutes using a specific format. It will guide them through inputting the relevant details for the meeting. Uh, and then it will um, prompt for any missing pieces and then try to use the um, uh, not Python docx template. So I'm going to delete that. It uses the other library that I mentioned. Um, I think it's just Python docx. Let's see if I have that. Yeah, Python docx and Jinja syntax errors. So let's go ahead and uh, try this out. So I'm going to update the GPT, make sure it has the correct uh, instructions in it. And then once this updates, oh, the other thing that's really important here is I turned off the web search, canvas, and Dali image generation and turned on code interpreter and data analysis. The reason why this is important to have code interpreter and data analysis is this is what allows it to actually use Python to load the file template and to fill it out. Uh, the other thing I did was uploaded that template as a piece of the knowledge so it's always accessible to this GPT. So what we're going to do is we're going to fill out just some of the basic information for meeting minutes. You can imagine just having a brain dump of notes in like one note or something else and just putting it in here. I'd be like, you know, meeting to discuss uh, dessert option issues. Uh, let's see, it was March 5th, 25 at the water cooler. <laughs> Bob, Sam, me, Dan, and Sarah. Uh, let's see, we um, did not have a prior meeting on this. Let's see, the uh, discussion focused on uh, needing more dessert options in the cafeteria. And notice how I'm misspelling things and kind of jumbled. I'm you know, doing that partially because I'm typing fast, but also because I know that this will be able to interpret what I'm saying and convert it into much nicer format. Um, let's see, Bob said he'd talk to the boss about fixing this. Let's see if it's missing any elements for a set of meeting minutes. If uh, not, then it will generate them for us, hopefully, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so it's telling me, okay, um, yeah, you're right, it didn't specify the time. And it was at the water cooler, March 5th, Bob, Sam, Dan, and Sarah. No follow-up item from the previous meeting. New business. Need more dessert options in the cafeteria. Notes. Uh, discussion center on need for more dessert options. Bob will speak to the boss about fixing this. Action items. Bob to discuss dessert options with boss. Next meeting agenda not specified. Okay, fair enough. Let's download this guy and see what it looks like. I'm excited. Okay, open file. 
And as I suspected, this didn't work. The, um, the for loop uh, had issues, and so it didn't end up working for those. But the good thing is the other ones did work. The um, variables for the date, uh, time, location, attendees, that all worked. So what we're going to do real quick is I'll show you how to fix this. So we're going to go back to this template, and we're just going to use new business items. And that's just going to be our main variable. And it's not going to be as fancy as like a list, but you know what? I'm okay with that. We can get fancier later. Or if we want to custom build something, we can get fancy. This is just, you know, using ChatGPT for some pretty awesome stuff. So new business items. And then this one is notes. And I'll show you why these variables are very specifically labeled. Um, it's because in the GPT instructions, we told it um, exactly how these uh, variables are labeled and the definition of them. Okay, so I think this is the last one. Follow up items. We've got to fix the spelling. And then we'll make sure the GPT has the right spelling as well. All right, so save this. Then we're going to uh, download this as a docx file. Then we're going to go back to our custom GPT. We're going to go into the edit GPT. We're going to take a look at the place that we've uh, defined the variables, which is right here, date location attendees, follow up items. Okay, so we did spell it correctly there. <laughs> now we're going to go and delete the original file and upload a new file. Meeting notes template one, perfect. And then finally, we're going to update this GPT. And once it's updated, we're going to go and view the updated GPT and try it again. Let's we'll see if it works. OK, looks like it updated, finally. All right, let's do this. So Bob, Sarah, Dan met at noon at the, uh, let's see, cafeteria to look at new dessert options. Last meeting at the water cooler, we discussed needing to have new desserts. And Bob had action to talk to the boss. Um, let's see, at the meeting, we tried three yummy cookies and decided it was a hit. We win. No action needed for now. Just monitor the options going forward. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see if it has everything it needs based on your meeting summary and the template. I will format the meeting minutes. Date today, because I didn't tell it the actual date. Noon cafeteria, Bob Sarah Dan. Need for um, new desserts, Bob talking to the boss was the follow-up items. New business items was tasted three cookies, decided they were a hit. Notes, success, no action needed, just monitoring desserts going forward. Action items done for now. Next agenda, monitor dessert options. Now it's gonna generate the docx file. Let's take a look and see if this thing uh, worked this time. I'm excited. All right, let's take a look. So we have the format from the original document. We got team meeting, we got the date, uh, time, the location, cafeteria, we got the attendees, the agenda, last meeting follow up, which had uh, need for new desserts and Bob talking to the boss, new business, tasted three yummy cookies, decided they were a hit. And it has our notes success, no action needed, just monitoring dessert options, action items, next meeting. This is amazing. So this worked. That's awesome. So not, not fancy format-wise, like we couldn't do the paragraphs, we couldn't do the bullet items, but I mean, this is pretty darn cool, right? Like we took a template that maintained the existing format that we gave it, and we were able to successfully use a custom GPT without having to write any Python code, um, allow us to put an input of just raw, rough notes, and it updates this in the exact format that we wanted. So hopefully you're as impressed as I am. Um, if you like this, like and subscribe and uh, stick around for the next one. Thank you.